this is Lady Lex UK and here is another tutorial for Project Spark. Ever wanted to transform into an animal during a game? Well, here's your opportunity. Uh, I've created a, uh, a brain in my player and I've got two templated uh, animals here that I can transform into uh, as I want to. Uh, one is an owl that I can only transform into once and one is a dragon that I can transform back into a human. So let's try the thing let's try the dragon first so here's my man he can run about do do all the things that he could normally do uh, if i hold my left trigger down and press b he's gonna start growing and there we go i've now turned into a dragon and i don't want to be a dragon i've i've been dragon too much let's uh hold the left trigger press x he's starting to shrink and he's back to being a human again. Let's be an owl. Shrinking. And now we're an owl. So there we go. There's two different uh, animal transformations. And you can do it for anything. You can be that squirrel if you want to. It's really up to you. So how is it done? Well, first of all, we have two... Uh, I've used... Uh, two template animals, however many animals you, you want to have as your abilities, uh, generally it's probably going to be one, so you only have to worry about one set of code, uh, and also the, the reasoning and the, the, the way that the, the player transforms. Now I've got it as a button press, you could have it when they picked up an object or interacted with something, it really is up to you how you do it. Um, the only thing that is different about these animals here uh, is that I have turned their visibility and their brains off in template mode and I will turn them on uh, when I want to during the code. So these are templated animals, visibility set to off and um, brain set to uh, false in the properties menu. Okay, here is my player. And we've got a little bit of code here at the top. This is a third person adventurer brain. Um, right at the top, I've got uh, a couple of defaults. These are um, this is allow your player to turn back into what he was before he started. If we turn into a dragon, we change his color and do various things, change his size. It might be a good idea if we know uh, that we're going to be returning back uh, to how he was before he started. So we'll say once this color variable return is the solid color of our player and our scale number variable scale is our scale so we can use these two variables here to turn him back again uh, to an ordinary woodland villager once we've turned him into a dragon uh, there's an extra little bit on this line here i've put transition easing and ease between uh, you need that in both the animal and the player and then it, it will uh, the camera will ease uh, much nicer between the, the the two and it will look nicer okay so this is how I've got it so I if I press the left trigger and then press B I'm going to turn into my dragon so let's let's see how that's done so I've changed the color of my player to uh, orange so he goes orange and I'm saying set a boolean called transform dragon and I make that true then I create uh, an object called my animal and I'm creating the dragon template and I'm saying my animal's position will be me position so the the player's position uh, this is the code for the owl it's pretty much the same Set this time we're going to set our solid color to brown we're going to set our transform to owl boolean to be true and my animal equals create owl instead of create dragon but otherwise exactly the same so let's have a look at the transform dragon transformation. Okay, so once you've set that boolean to true, when you say it's once true, then uh, for two seconds, I'm going to play the dragon's raw special effect on my player. And then I'm going to emote uh, the taunt emote. And then for two seconds, I'm going to grow uh, the player by 1% every frame. And then I'm doing a countdown timer of two. So after all of this has happened and say, right, my animal's brain is, is active, it's true. So I'm turning the brain of my animal on. My animal's visibility is true. So I'm turning it down so you can see it. 
and I'm turning my visibility to false. I'm turning attackable to false, collidable to false, and then finally my brain to false. So that's turn my player off. He's still in the world, but you can't see him, you can't attack him, and he's not collidable. So he might as well be not there, really. But it means I don't destroy him. So his brain and everything in him is still intact. Right. Uh, for transforming my owl, slightly different. I've got a duration time where I've got uh, the arcane spell circle instead. And I'm emoting stunned and now I'm shrinking instead of growing. But then everything else is exactly the same as before. And that's it for the player brain. Everything else is a normal third person standard adventure. Right. So if we go into our owl... Um, I've put a third person flight brain in here. You need a third person brain in uh, your animal. Now you can you could push uh, your player's brain into the animal and don't, don't forget uh, if you are if you want all of his attributes to pass into an animal there's another tutorial that, that shows you what you need to do for that but it's a bit complicated and let's just assume that once you're in your animal, animal you're a brand new person so uh, this is a third person flight brain and that is what's controlling the uh, owl um, I'm gonna add here so because I'd added it in the dragon let's add it here modifiers transition easing modifiers ease between and that just makes the camera movement a little bit smoother otherwise there's nothing else in this owl brain because I can't I haven't got any controls to change back so this is, you'll just turn into this owl and that's you done. So if you only want to transform into an owl and that's it for the rest of the game, you're done. You're finished. You don't need any more. But now we're going to have a look at the dragon. Uh, we want to be able to change back into our player. So uh, now the dragon brain is a little complicated. There's a lot of pages. Um, so what I've done is I've put all of my uh uh, code for changing to back to my player on this call page because I know that it's going to be shown on every page it's called in everywhere and that's the control display page uh, if you're not using that just do a call page uh, there uh, for your other for a new page uh, that will just do anyway I'll put it in here for ease for now okay so when I press my left trigger and press X my transform dragon boolean make is true. And don't forget we're in the dragon now, so that is a different transform bo uh, dragon than the one that was in our player before. This is a new version of it, if you like. So when my boolean transform dragon is true, for two seconds, I'm going to emote mad and start to shrink. And then after two seconds, I'm going to make my visibility visibility to be fox my dragon's going to become invisible and I'm going to turn the brain on on my woodland peasant I'm going to scale him up so that he is the same scale as his default scale I'm going to turn his attackable back on to true his collidable back on to true his position to be the same as my dragon and his solid colour to be his default colour which is that one there and then turn his visibility on and also set that boolean in his brain back to false so that we can turn back into the dragon again at whim and then we'll destroy this dragon because we're using a template we can then make and destroy as many of those as we like and that's it uh, the only other thing that you need to add is your transition easing and i believe it's in dragon main is it Yes, there it is, learn 25, follow camera. You put transition easing, ease between in there. So you're easing between the two cameras during the transformation. And that's it. Now you can use any animal you like. Uh, and uh, it will still work. Uh, just to show you, I'm going to swap my mesh. This is another way you can uh, transform, by the way, but not in code. You can't do this in code, unfortunately. But you can do it in create mode let's turn him into a rabbit 
you've got a third person flight brain in here so we don't really want that let's put a third person adventure in there third person adventure brain and oops let me change that follow camera with the transition easing in there And there we go. So let's see now. We should now, instead of turning into a owl, shrinking, it turned into a rabbit. So there you go. So just to show you that it can work with, this code can work with any animal, any template. Also, you can turn him into anything you want. I mean, if you want to turn him into a robot, make a robot, um, that's fine too. Anything you like, it doesn't have to be an animal could be anything. So thanks for watching and keep sparking.